Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Paulina and I'm your host. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to tell the difference between the cold and the flu. So as parents, it's difficult sometimes to tell whether your child has a cold or a flu, um, just talking about the symptoms because there's a lot of overlap between those two. And really it's hard to tell uh, sometimes just based on how your kid is looking. So definitely will require a visit to your doctor if there's some question. So the common cold is actually more common than the flu. So a lot of times uh, parents will come in and they'll say, oh, I know my kid has the flu, but more likely than not, they will have the cold. So. Uh, typically, a cold will start gradually. You'll get some symptoms in the first few days and the worst day is usually day five. And then from there, the symptoms will taper off. And usually it's about 10 day course or a week or so. Um, and then if there's any complications, it can go up to two weeks. And it's similar with the flu, but the flu, we tend to see more dramatic symptoms. So some of the more common cold symptoms are cough, which can either be wet or dry, a sore throat, a stuffy nose, sneezing, fatigue, and mild body aches. And then usually for a cold, you won't be running a very high, high fever. All right, let's talk about treatment. In order to treat the common cold, like I said earlier, you need to understand that this is a virus, so an antibiotic will not work and sometimes can actually make things worse. Also, cough and cold medications are not recommended for young children. And remember that a cold will come on gradually, like I said early, and then the worst day will be day five and then typically the symptoms will taper off by about a week or so. And most kids will actually do okay with this and won't need to be, be seen by their provider. So to treat the symptoms, I would recommend uh, rest, plenty of fluids, um, good nose care. Um, if you haven't checked out my video on ways to treat a cold, make sure to check that. I'll link it below. If you're child is less than four months old or they have a high high fever you definitely want to be seen by your provider in contrast the flu has much more severe presentation compared to a common cold so the symptoms will come on really fast and they'll be very very pronounced compared to a cold and one telling sign between a cold and a flu is a high fever. Typically, we're talking about 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Other common symptoms of the flu are a cough, um, ex exhaustion, this can be pretty pronounced, uh, extreme fatigue, aches and pains, and I mean, these can be really uncomfortable, and also a headache. So when it comes to the flu, I always say the best treatment is actually prevention and getting your flu shot and getting your child the flu shot will be the best way to prevent any of this. So if you think that your child does have the flu though, I recommend that you make an appointment to be seen as soon as possible. And the reason why I say that is because the flu can actually cause more severe uh, problems like pneumonia and that really requires you to be seen by a doctor to be properly diagnosed. So hopefully I've given you some insight on the differences between a cold and a flu. Sometimes it can be really hard to tell though and depending on the child the symptoms may be more severe but not be a flu and vice versa. Before I end the video, I feel it's my duty to remind you guys out there to go and get your flu shots. I cannot emphasize this. It's very, very uh, important that you protect yourself, but then that you also protect your family members by getting uh, immunized yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that everyone is staying warm. And as always, be good, be safe, and be healthy, friends. Bye.